Hello everyone, welcome to the Experience Efficiency Hour. Today, I'll be talking on the topic of digitization in electrical distribution. We are all citizens of this global village. While globalization has brought a lot of comforts, improved the overall efficiency and longevity of our lives, it also has the other side, the side of a challenge. Globalization has seen two major trends. Firstly, urbanization. Urbanization has led to a rapid increase in the rate of energy consumption, which gave rise to the second trend of energy management. As we can see, our cities are growing. 2% of the Earth's surface today is urbanized with cities like Mumbai, Delhi, not to forget the global biggies like Shanghai, New York, London and Paris. With 50% of Earth's population, these cities contribute to 75% of the global energy consumption. This rapid rate of increase in energy consumption coupled with an alarming rate of growing carbon emissions has led to the need of energy management. Let us now understand why do we need to manage and conserve energy. The International Energy Agency forecasts a doubling of energy consumption by 2050. For electricity, it's even sooner, 2030. This growth in demand creates a number of effects. It creates an additional buyer competition for fuels and hence price pressure contributing to growing energy costs. As a business owner or a consumer, this hurts your pocket. Exploration continues for new oil and gas fields, but these sources are becoming more and more difficult and dangerous to access. The disaster in the Gulf of Mexico is a clear illustration that the risks are high and renewable technologies will take years to grow in big volume, enough to make a difference to the world's growing demand. While we all agree renewables are important, but they are simply not a silver bullet for our energy worries. For the foreseeable future, fossil fuels will continue to be used. Most energy comes from oil, gas or coal. These fuels, while they generate energy, they also increase the pollution levels and impact human life and ecology. The contribution of energy use to climate change is widely recognized and brings unexpected and uncontrollable changes in the weather patterns. So, the energy equation is very simple, yet very complex to solve. This is how the carbon footprint looks like. It's we who have created it and as responsible citizens, let's make an effort to clean it. When we think of energy conservation or energy management, the following questions come to our mind. How do I identify the sources of energy wastage? How do I get energy efficiency in minimum capex? How do I get alarms of unplanned events? thus ensuring maximum uptime. How do I do multi-site benchmarking? And last but not the least, what energy regulations do I comply with? For all the upper questions, we need to monitor energy. When we say monitor, we first need to measure because one can monitor what one can measure. As you see here, we have possibly the widest range of LV devices, right from ACBs to MCCBs to MCBs, MPCBs, active filters, meters, contactors, intelligent motor starters, motor protection relays and so on. Actually, our range is so wide that I can't fit everything on the slide. Yes, these are essentially the devices that you use in your panels. As you know, Schneider Electric was pioneer in creating communication capability by introducing microprocessor trip units with embedded metering in ACBs and MCCBs. With the introduction of world's first communicating MCBs, the Actinine MCBs and RCCBs, Schneider is possibly the only company to offer digitization throughout your LV network, right from the incomer to distribution to sub-distribution to final distribution level. The sole purpose of introducing digitization in low voltage is to give back the power to you. The power of monitoring and controlling the entire spread of LV network centrally or remotely enabling complete protection and continuity of supply. Clearly, there is no compromise of one for the sake of the other. Further, digitization also enables availability of diagnostic tools, which helps in enhancing the longevity of your network. With buildings consuming nearly 40% of the energy demand in most of the countries, there is an urgency to mitigate the impact on the environment while installing responsible consumption of a scarce resource. Along with large facilities, 
Regulatory bodies are also imposing environmental performance criteria on small to mid-sized buildings. This trend is also catching up in industries with urgency in saving energy costs. Energy saving is a continuous process and facility managers need to access the energy data on a continuous basis. The data and system information needs to be made available in a simple format, easy to understand and act upon. Smart panels address these crucial requirements that helps to track and optimize energy performance. Comprising of reliable switchboard components from Schneider Electric, these smart panels meet your energy goals in three simple steps, measure, connect and save. Smart panels deliver data visualization for sustainable energy savings. Over a period of time, Schneider Electric has been continuously adding Arsenal to its component portfolio by including communicable products with embedded energy metering. We have seen the introduction of upgraded Micrologic releases, Actinine range of modular devices which give best-in-class protection and metering. On communication front, Schneider has included gateways like IFE, EGX and COMEX200 which help you connect your communicable products to the Ethernet, enabling access from anywhere and at all times. This has helped the user to upgrade his system from a simple switchboard to energy management switchboard a communication system closer to the load. Thanks to this comprehensive solution, smart panels allow to measure data, understand it and help the users manage and save energy costs. This data can be accessed locally on the panel through an IP connected FDM128. FDM128 can auto discover up to 8 components on the IP network. Data can also be accessed locally without any software through the web pages of IFE or the SmartLink IP. These web pages provide you status monitoring, switching of downstream devices with energy view and trending. The components can also be connected to energy management platforms like Power Monitoring Expert offered by Schneider Electric. So as we mentioned in the previous slide, we can now see how data acquisition can be done on an IP display, locally on the panel or through the device web pages, on the local network or on an energy management platform locally or through cloud based services. Here. We can get an access to the real-time energy and asset status, control the devices remotely, have alarms for major unplanned events, have a consolidated consumption trend, analyze the energy consumption and have a comparison of energy consumption of multi-site locations enabling their benchmarking. Smart panels offer you much more than connecting your switchboard to the Ethernet. Smart panels help you achieve your objective of asset management, network management and energy management. Load monitoring and predictive maintenance helps improve the longevity of your assets. Healthy electrical distribution network is ensured by continuous protection and good power quality. Energy management objectives are achieved by data-driven, timely and targeted energy efficiency actions. All of the above can be done locally or remotely through cloud services, thereby keeping you in touch with your installation from anywhere and at all times. Summing up our discussions on the concept of smart panel, let's have a look at two sample architectures to understand it better. On your left, you can see a reference architecture for on-site real-time monitoring and control and on your right is an architecture for online energy management services. Both these architectures have state-of-the-art best-in-class devices by Schneider Electric for protection and control and energy measurement. We have the Ethernet gateways like SmartLink or the IFE which convert the data availability on a more accessible Ethernet platform. And finally, we have two options for data acquisition and to take data-driven actions to ensure energy savings. In the on-site model, we can ensure savings through local IP displays or through local web pages. In the online model, we can achieve the objective through energy management services which are either local or remotely accessed through a cloud. While we saw how the smart panel architecture can help you with energy management, network management and asset management. Let us see how the smart architecture can be complemented by Schneider panels which themselves are a benchmark in the industry. We have our block set range up to 6300 amps which is a totally type tested assembly panel confirming to IEC 61439. This range is a compartmentalized design which has been internally arc tested up to 85 kilo amperes for 400 milliseconds and can withstand a fault current up to 100 kilo amperes for one second. A single block set can house up to 34 starter feeders of capacity lower than 15 kilowatts. In short, 
This is an Ethernet ready IPM CC. Another offer is our Prisma IPM. This offer is also complying to IC61439. Prisma is available up to 4000 amperes and comes in prefabricated kits, making it the fastest panel offer which can be assembled on site. It has a short circuit withstand capacity of 85 kilo amperes for one second and a maintenance friendly modular architecture. Another offer that I want to talk about is the LV busway systems which carries power from one place to another, for instance transformer or DG to the incomer or from the panel room to every floor of the building via a riser. These are prefabricated sandwich type of bus bars available in 3 pole and 4 pole up to 6300 amperes enclosed in galvanized steel offering IP54 to IP66 degree of protection. We can have digitized intelligent MCCBs in the tap of box to measure and monitor the energy consumption. These busways are IC61439-6 compliant with seismic zone 4 compliance. They have an envious global installation of more than 70,000 kilometers. I hope that I have been able to give you an insight into our smart products, smart panel architectures and also our panel and busway offers which complement these. The floor is now open for questions. Please type in your queries in the chat window and we shall respond to them one after the other. Thank you for attending this session. I hope you found it interesting. Do join us at the marketplace where we would like to demonstrate to you our innovative and integrated solutions.